Early on, I mentioned that not only did we have a line dance, but we have a pattern partner dance as well. So Darian and I are gonna take you through the 32 counts of slow rain as a pattern partner dance. So here we go. We're gonna travel down the line of dance, but we're gonna go in this fashion right now instead of in a progression in a circle so you can see exactly how it all plays out. So we'll start with the guy's footwork and then Darian will interject what the ladies do. So guys, we're gonna start the, the pattern partner dance the exact same way we started the line dance. So we're gonna step to the right, rock back, recover forward, then we triple step, four and five. Now, as we do our cross break with the quarter turn, we're gonna take our right hand, extend it straight through the middle as we rock forward, recover back, and then square off again on eight and one. So that's for the guys. So ladies, we're doing the opposite footwork. So your weight starts on your right foot. You're stepping to the left on your left for one. Step it forward, two, three. Now we're gonna do our cha-cha or our triple step straight down the line of dance triple step, right, left, right. Your weight should end up on your right foot. Now you're gonna push through on that left foot. Six, recover seven. Now face your partner again, tripling back, eight and one, left, right, left. So let's just do those first count, the first count of eight together. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four and five, six, seven, eight and one. From here, gentlemen first, we release our right hand. We're going to step in a quarter turn to our right shoulder as we step forward, half turn pivot and release. Then we're going to triple forward for uh, left, right, left for the gentleman, left, right, left, followed by a walk forward onto the right, then to the left, and then triple eight and one. We're taking the lady into a wrap position. So ladies, let's address what you're gonna do on that and then we'll put it together. So from here, gentleman's weight is on the right, left for the ladies as we release. So coming in, to basically the same thing in opposition from the guy as you start, making a quarter turn to step forward onto the right foot. Half turn pivot, placing your weight onto your left foot. Picking up the inside hand, gentlemen. Leave your outside hand, ladies, free and accessible. From here, we're tripling forward. Right, left, right. You can make that a locked triple or a step together step. From here we start our turn. This is six, seven. So I'm cheating my, my left foot in slightly. Six, it's turned in. Seven, I'm just made a, a really just a half turn. Eight and one, I conclude with my left arm wrapped around my waist. Yes. Yeah. so gentlemen, let me go ahead and add in there too. Do not retrieve the lady's free hand when you get done out of that. We'll pick it up in just a minute. So let's do those two counts of eight together in our closed position, just hand-to-hand -hand connection. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four and five, six, seven, eight and one, two, three, four and five, six, seven, eight, and one. So gentlemen, if it helps you, you can just put your hand at the small of your back, gives it a little styling if you want, or if you just wanna keep it accessible, you don't have to do anything with it right now, but just don't take hold of the free hand. So let's flip around to the front here so you can see what position we're in. When we come out of that turn for the ladies, I'm just leaving my right arm sort of accessible around my waist with my palm down, then that way, as we progress into this, my hand is accessible for him to get and I don't have to try to fish for him. Because remember ladies, it's the guy's job to find us, not the other way around. Right, so turning our back to you again, from here going into the third count of eight, gentlemen, you're going to step forward and then do a quarter turn. You're gonna step forward two, three, as you, as you unwind the lady. Then we're gonna break back, left, right. Now we're gonna pick up the free hand Oh, I'm sorry, we got one more break as we step back and break, and then we're gonna pick up the free hand and we're gonna triple in place as we wrap her up on eight and one, squaring off to face the line of dance. So now, let's add that on from the very, very top. And then we have one more count of eight and the dance is done. Here we go, seven, eight, one, two, three, four and five, six, seven, eight and one, two, three, four and five, six, seven, eight, and one, step, turn, break, back, forward, break, triple step. 
So we didn't address what the ladies are doing on that uh, last bit there. So after your wrap position, you're simply doing, um, what is this, about a three-quarter turn mm -hmm. to get to here? So from, from your weight on your left foot, you're taking two steps. So it's not a syncopated turn. It's just right left to face your partner. Weight ends up on your left foot. Now you're breaking forward, recover, back, recover, you retrieve the hand, now you're doing your triple step to wrap back up just like you did before, eight and forward one. So you are making a forward progression on that wrap into the turn. So all that said, with your weight on your left foot, you're turning out two, three, four, five, six, seven, turn eight and forward one. So make sure your weight does go forward on the right foot. Right. So let's go ahead now and offer up the very last count of eight. Weights forward on the left for the gentleman, right for the ladies. We continue forward on two and three, traveling two and three. Now on four and five, we're going to give you both the back and front view on this. Guys, I'm just going to triple step in place. I'm going to lift up my left arm four and five to rotate the lady so she's facing up the line of dance. Then from here, Guys, I'm going to lift my left arm and I'm going to come up underneath a pass here as I step, half turn, and then I'm going to square off with my lady on eight and one, eight and one to start the dance again. Ladies, let's talk about what you're doing with your weight forward on the, uh, the right foot. So from here, ladies, we're almost staying in place, but we're doing a triple step to make a half turn. We're going forward first on two and three four, two, and three. Now four and five, right, left, right, making a half turn, four and five. So all I did was stay in place and make a half turn pivot. As Barry takes his next, next two steps, I'm just gonna rock back. Rock, recover, so I'm still facing this direction. Now we're gonna square up to do our triple to the left, left, right, left, and you started into the pattern again. So you finished the dance. So that's pretty easy on the last bit for the ladies because we don't have a lot of movement. So I said we'd give you both views on that. So let's do that very last count of eight coming toward you this time. So we're going forward on two and three, two and three, lift four and five, six, seven, eight and one. Okay, so that way there you get that view as well. So that means let's go back to the very, very top now and let's do all 32 counts together. Here we go. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four and five, six, seven, eight and one, two, three, four and five, six, seven, eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and one, forward two and three, four and five, six, seven, eight and one. And there you have it. That's the progressive dance that we're gonna be doing to slow rain while the cha-cha, or excuse me, while the line dancers are in the middle doing that. It's called slow rain, it's 32 counts, and we sure hope you have a great time with it. Let's put it to some music.